with Tom Kiffin. Even though the weather was a little unbearable at times today, mm -hmm. this was the great spot to have that fall fest earlier. Yeah, they. I think the wind wasn't too horrible for them for fall fest, but definitely the wind was picking up the pace throughout the day. I'll tell you what, if you had any activities around Houghton, that was a different story. So hopefully Michigan Tech didn't have anything major going on outside today because they had some gust at times over 40 miles per hour here in the Marquette area. We had some gusty winds, but it wasn't too terrible. But that wind brought in some drier air and made it a little bit more bearable out there. And we really didn't have to deal with the humidity. 906 Weather Watchers here and we're going to start you off here with Marion Bowers Taylor. She said one and a half inches of rain last night in NEMA and there was this good concentrated area of rain. Basically it was Marquette to about powers eastward that really got soaked last night with anywhere between one to two inches of rain. The West different story though, but at Marianne's place in Nama, she did pick up some good rain and kind of put a dent into those sunflowers. So that kind of some bad news. And I think if the rain got to Hall's farm, it really put a dent in the sunflowers. But Thanks, Mary Ann, for sending that in. Good job getting an inch and a half of rain last night. Ben Raymond, after work today, took a hike up Sugarloaf. I'm wondering if he took Miss Bat or uh, Loretta or I don't think Fido's going to go up for no, a big hike. No, Fido, Fido can't do it. No, <laughs> but I'm wondering if uh, Miss Bat or... Yeah, uh, they're those two are very active, especially yes. low. Yeah, low. I think low would probably walk up the hill. So I'm wondering if they went. I don't think Ray the cat went though. I doubt it. I'm sure he was in the basement yes. enjoying the night. Yes. <laughs> so beautiful video from our news director at WJM and Local 3, Ben. You can see that we had j just a beautiful view and some good cloud coverage there as well, making for a beautiful scene on top of Sugar Loaf. That's Ben Raymond for you, our WJM and news director. Thanks, Ben, for sharing that. Robert, he said it got too hot in Hermansville today so he went to Gladstone to cool off the breeze coming off the lake he said felt nice you can see the waves there thanks Robert for sending that in was a foggy start for some parts of the UP Ron and Manistique sent this photo in and I can hear the rain here at WJM and Local 3 and we'll get to our Local 3 radar network here in just a bit but you can see some of the fog that was approaching the Lake Michigan shoreline in Schoolcraft County this morning and Mary Ann Bowers Taylor also had to deal with some fog on the US, it looks like US 2 heading west from Manistique. So definitely along the Lake Michigan shoreline this morning, they had to deal with some fog. And then as we look at some other photos that came in throughout the weekend here, I want to get through these quick because yes, they were awesome photos, especially the monarch butterfly here. You can see from Cindy Scheffler from Escanaba here, just some beautiful monarch butterfly photos. She got a hummingbird too as well. Thanks Cindy for sending that in. Peter in the Copper Country, light overcast over Lake Superior. This is from Brockway Mountain in the Copper Country. What an awesome view of Lake Superior. Just an amazing view from the Copper Country. Thanks Peter for sending that in. Bonnie V, she said the trees are all, the trees always start to turn in August. They are in the lake here and you can see just a little hint of fall unfortunately here I also think that tree's sick because you can see this part of the branch here it doesn't have any yeah. leaves so if you do start to see trees start to turn early in August I think they're a little bit not well so just be aware of that but definitely there you can see some leaves changing colors here and same here too she's this is Jackie Jonas here she was in Houghton the other day and she said the trees were starting to turn in Houghton. Same deal. If your trees are starting to turn in late August here, sure, you could get an early turn, but odds are there may be something wrong with the trees. So check in with that and see what's wrong with the tree here. But the trees, I don't think on August 30th should be changing colors. Our peak really doesn't hit till the middle of October. As we look at some other photos here, Kev in Westwood, Western Marquette County, beautiful sunrise from the other morning there. We'll take a look at that. You can see just beautiful sunrise coming up there. Thanks, Kev, for sending that in. And then real quick here, folks, I want to get a photo from Grand Marais here. Reflection in the clouds in Grand Marais. Paul K. Peterson sending this in. Some overcast cloud cover in Grand Marais. He took the drone up. There's the bay right there, and then there's Main Street right there in Grand Marais. That's the Lake Superior Lakeshore Highway. Just 
an awesome shot there from Paul K. Peterson. Thanks to all our 906 Weather Watchers. If you'd like to join our 906 Weather Watchers page, feel free to join on Facebook. Becca and I would love to show off your weather photos during WJM and Local 3 News. All right, we're going to fire up the weather graphics real quick here. The rain I'm hearing here at the WJM and Local 3 studio is some of the rain showers moving through currently Marquette County, extending from Marquette back towards Palmer. As we look at temperatures, we have temperatures that are in the 60s and 70s. 73 for Escanaba, 67 for Sawyer International, and 67 for Munising. Overnight, we'll have low temperatures around 59 for Marquette, 60 Escanaba and Gladstone, 58 Iron Mountain Kingsford, and then for the Copper Country tonight, look for lows around 60. 70 tomorrow for the Marquette area. Rain shower might pop up. Otherwise, we'll have some wind and wind and a fall-like feel to end August, but warming up for the first couple of days of September and then cooling off on Saturday. Escanaba and Gladstone, 74 Tuesday, 73 on Wednesday, 76 Thursday, 81 on Friday, and then for Iron Mountain Kingsford, 75 for your Tuesday, 74 for your Wednesday, 78 on Thursday, 84 on Friday, cooling off though for the Labor Day weekend. For Oakton and Hancock, 73 for your Tuesday, 70 on Wednesday, 78 on Thursday, 82 for the daytime on Friday, and then we're going to see temperatures cool on off a little bit as we go into the first part of the holiday weekend, 68 for the daytime on Saturday. Sounds good. Thank you, Tom. And